Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. My beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot messages, your weekly horoscope, Leo. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this message, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot video, I just said video weird. If you do enjoy this tarot reading, uh, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, <laughs> Leo, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe it does help me out a lot and i'm super appreciative of it when you guys do that for me also remember leo just a man reading some tarot cards to you use your intuition because put it in perspective uh this weekly horoscope is meant for a bunch of people right it's impossible for me to know each of y'all's specific situations and for the cards to speak on just one specific situation in one specific way right what's social for one person is going to be about career and moving on from something with that for another so I believe my weekly horoscopes here are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider. So remember that as we go through your cards today, Leo. So let's just now get into your weekly horoscope. So I'm going to show you these cards that I pulled for you, Leo, just so I can get an idea of uh, where it is y'all are at right now. So we have the Nine of Earth or the Nine of Pentacles, the what is this? Five of Air or Five of Swords. Queen of Air, and then the Six of Air. Lots of Air cards for y'all as well. I say y'all as well, Leo, because uh, Aries was in a similar, not in a, necessarily in a sim similar situation. It almost feels like for you, Leos, you guys were going through a little bit of a rough patch through some type of um, mistake. Whose mistake? I'm not going to really go into too much detail on that just because i feel like y'all would just know if it's someone in your life like unintentionally like impacted your life like made your life more difficult or maybe it was just like a mistake on you maybe you put your eggs in a basket or you invested and you did like a bad investment on something right um so but overall it seems like you guys are on the up or i don't know if the uphill is really good your graph right <laughs> if we're gonna put your life on a graph right now leo it feels like your graph is starting to go up now in terms of happiness in terms of just positively positivity and good things coming to you now i'm not just saying that honey y'all know you're not new to my readings i have no problem saying it doesn't like, right my face does even if i wanted to say lie to y'all leo my face just doesn't hide any of it <laughs> so Let's see how the storyline wants to be played out, though. I do feel like we're going to start with this card over here. And then we're going to do this. Yeah. So we're going to start with this. <laughs> don't mind me. Tarot is like a puzzle to me. Don't don't give me a hard time, Leo. Uh, so we're going to start with your five of swords or your five of air. This card says, an unwise choice, learn what you can from this situation and reviewing everyone's motives. So this is the unwise choice, right? So notice how even in the card it says reviewing everyone's motives because whatever the mistake was or whatever the inconvenience, we'll call it rather than mistake, um, it really took uh, took you for a, like a... It really kind of put things in perspective for you, Leo, I feel. It feels almost like a wake-up call. Not necessarily saying that you needed one. I mean, who doesn't ever just need a wake-up call on something? Uh, and kind of, we'll say it opens your eyes. Something opens your eyes to being like, oh, I need to like do some spring cleaning. It's like, oh. Um, it just feels like something happened where it's just like, okay, I need to fine-tune this situation here. Whether it's about work or what have you. It seems like through some type of inconvenience that really spurred the uh, motivation for you to chase after some change. So let's get some details on this card, though. <clears throat> so we're going to start with the well, start. The clarifiers I have rather, Leo, for I don't know why I'm being so crazy for y'all's reading or silly rather, not crazy. Five of Swords, the clarifiers we have is the Seven of Wands as well as the Three of Wands and the tower card honey so definitely it just feels like 
for a while, Leo, the things have been like, I don't even feel like it's about a specific person or specific situation or energy. It just feels like you can't even like, you wake up in the morning, honey, and it's just like, it's just like a series of unfortunate events for you where it's just like, you wake up, you take your first steps out and you're about to go to the bathroom and then you step on some dog pee. You start turning on the shower and then the electric electricity goes off. You decide to go out to eat and all the restaurants are closed or like your favorite restaurant doesn't have the food that you want. You go to McDonald's, honey, and the ice cream machine is still broken, right? It's in that vibe of where it's just like this constant just being like, you know, you're at your like your limit, you feel with everything because it just you know for some of you guys you probably feel like you were being punished in some way um and so it puts you in like this self-reflective state of being like all right nothing's working out for me right now it, what can i do differently right that's where i see you guys being at leo where it's just like uh, <laughs> you know you're just even though um you're probably not too because here's i feel i don't know why i feel the need to just like acknowledge that i don't feel like you guys are at fault leo but I just feel as if you're not taking things personally right now. You're taking everything with stride or the best way that you can, I guess is a better way to put it. Where it's just like, even if you did mess up or even someone else in your life messed up, you're just like, it's like, okay, like, I guess we can, you know, like stepping on that dog puddle of pee. If you have a dog, right? He'll step in that pee and you'll just be like, Ugh. All right, I guess I need to start taking my dog out um, sometime in the middle of the night, let him out so they can use the bathroom. It's in that kind of vein where it's just like, yeah, it's clearly something that pissed you off, but you're allowing it to uh, guide you or pivot you where it's just like, all right, even if it's like big or small, you're just like, all right, I'm so tired of a bunch of inconveniences happening in my life. Let me try to rectify it in the best ways that I can, right? And I just see you in this energy uh then we go into this queen of air for you this queen of swords this card says objective decision making clearing away all that no longer sees you or serves you <laughs> and seeing the humor in a situation now i'm gonna be honest here leo i'm not really getting that many giggles from <laughs> what it is that you guys are experiencing um but I do, yeah, this confirms me um, what I was feeling and saying, I guess, rather before of where I don't feel like you guys are taking things personal. You're just taking it in as much stride as you possibly can. So what it is, what is it actually? Because I don't want to keep on using this dog, dog urine <laughs> example. Uh, what is it that my Leos are... Uh, clearing away. I always say my Queen of Swords is the one that puts in some strong boundaries and is reactionary to something. Like the Queen of Swords, love her to death, but at the same time, she is usually the one that's like, doesn't think about putting up a boundary until it happens, until like something happens that potentially pisses her off and be like, okay, I need to do this now. All right. So let's look at these clarifiers. We have the... <laughs> Um, we have the Judgment card. <laughs> I'll explain why I'm laughing my reaction after. The Empress card in the reverse. And the Devil, mm, devil card. Um, I'm telling you, Leo, I can't hide my reactions, even if it's <laughs> like... Um, so the situation here. I like that we get this Devil card, though. Um, with your... Clarifying with your Queen of Swords. Because it shows to me, Leo, that you are actively identifying the Devil. You are... Um, that's what you're putting space to. So it's not, uh, how I want to put this. So Leo, uh, get my mind. Uh, everything's coming at once for me right now. My gosh, it's like a bunch of chattering. A lot of people's guys are trying to come through and bring in a message or an example. Um, <laughs> so if my Leo's that have been searching for like an affirmation, because I know for, I have like a oddly, uh, odd relationship with my Leo that I do readings for because I don't I don't remember I'm gonna be honest a lot of people's zodiac signs readings because I just do so many private and publicly um that it's just whatever but with Leo's I oddly have been able to just like retain everything that the storyline that y'all have been going through for months and I know for a lot of you Leo's you've been struggling with a person or a situation we'll just say but I feel like it was a person um <laughs> that you really were just in your head and your thoughts about being like, I don't know what to do with this situation. Like you want them, but at the same time, they're just like not very good for you or like they enable you in some ways, right? Because here's the thing, I know like 
One, we're not getting any cards that like talk about this being personal, like, right? Like no serious swords, knock on wood, honey, or nothing, nothing in that vein. And me also acknowledging where it's like, I don't feel like you guys are taking things personal and you know, seeing the humor and whatever humor where you, you, know, what, you can get some giggles, honey, get some giggles. But like, <laughs> with this devil, I feel like this is more so like an enabling energy where it's just like, we all have that one friend at some point in our lives, maybe. Where it's just like they're a hardcore partier, honey. They like to be up all night. They want to always be doing something, um, do distractions, what have you. And I kind of feel like this is what it was. Where it's like just their presence, their existence just just isn't fitting for your life anymore in some way. Like, they're, Or at least the, the situation isn't molding to your life in the way that it used to at one point. And so now you're kind of have to, now you kind of have to like reevaluate and be like, all right, you know, like you as a friend, but maybe I can't be spending every single weekend with you anymore, right? Because with this Empress card in the reverse, this is again confirming to me where I don't feel like it was a specific action. Also, if you hear any sounds, it's my neighbor doing construction. I'm sorry, Liam, but I don't feel like it was necessarily a specific action. And the Empress confirms to it too, because it's kind of just like that natural, just like organic daily growth that you go through. Um, no one specific thing impacting the, your entire world, but it's just like a buildup of of a situation. So it's just like that progressive, just being like that bad influence of a friend, just like slowly impacting you, slowly enabling you to just not work as hard because like they want to like go out and party. Not their intention is to be like, oh, let me just sabotage Leo's future, of course, right? But I feel like now with this judgment card, you're taking things a little bit more seriously. You're you're taking action essentially and being like, all right, like this is not going to change. I can't make both things work in how they are. So now let me take action. Let me start putting up the proper boundaries. Let me start doing whatever it is that you're doing, Leo, to really start, you know, just being in a better place uh, in your life or just in your situation overall. It's very interesting because it's interesting dynamic because I really don't get anything. I say this now, I'm probably going to get a bunch of people, a bunch of Leos that have some issues with an ex of being like, oh, Valka, this person screwed me over. <laughs> um, six of Swords, though. Six of Air. This card says things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, and taking a trip. So I want to know why this is even looking up. Like, well, not a bad thing, honey, but I want to know what causes this to look up, right? Um, because that's going to be very much so the pivotal part in how your next card, that Nine of Pentacles, uh, uh, reflects in this reading. So let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. We also have the Four of Pentacles in the back of the deck for this one, by the way. So two different Four of Pentacles, which I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this real quick. Four of Pentacles is that card of like, you waiting out to invest your energy into something right so with the six of air i'm getting ahead of myself i want to show these other guys first <laughs> oh, i'm excited about this message for y'all though forgive me uh four pentacles in the reverse queen of wands and then the six of cups Ooh. oh oh leo <sighs> this is a hard decision for you wasn't it honey so I guess let me go backtrack and go back to what I was saying before. Four of Wands, this is you waiting out a situation, being like, oh, like, do I invest my pentacles here? Do I invest my pentacles there? What have you, right? You put your four pentacles into something. And I remind you, this is why it's really cool to experience this for you, uh, Leo, is because the six of air, remember, we're getting cards of like how this looks, like how are you putting distance and how are things starting to look up for you? What actions happen? What events happen? What things happen for you to start this motion, right? And I do get this sense, especially with the four of pentacles being in the reverse, this is you taking out your pentacles, taking out your investments in something and taking out your stock in something, uh, Leo. And what is it? It's the six of cups here. Six of Cups is referencing usually something about that you've invested your energy into for a while now. This definitely would be talking about like a past energy, right? Past connection. <clears throat> oh, I say past, but more so like there's history here. It's like if it's about a person, there's been like, this isn't just like you're known them for a couple months. This is like a known them for years sort of thing. A situation that that and that's why you invested your four pentacles into it because you've known it for a while, a long time. But 
because and this goes into my message so beautifully what I was saying um, because we'll go back to that narrative of this person who just enables you uh, Leo not necessarily a bad person you're learning in, to identify being like all right like this person just enables me to do bad habits which then sabotage me or slow slows down my progress as a Leo I'm not a Leo I'm a Libra but I'm speaking for you um, so you're acknowledging it because the eight of pentacles is learning, right? So you're learning from your behaviors. You're just like, all right, I need to improve, right? And in this vein, you go into this queen of wands, right? Queen of wands is you stretching uh, your wings and just flying, really allowing yourself to uh, live by passion and, and ambition. Kind of going out on your own. The queen of wands is very much so a solo energy, very much so like self-empowered um, learning to leave the nest, really, right? Maybe before you're reliant or felt like your future was so reliant on another person, maybe that person. But now, Leo, it seems like you're adopting and claiming more of your own power and being like, you know what, actually, I don't need this other person to continue down my path, right? I can be that queen of wands and go forward still without them. Nine of Pentacles. This card says, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, and successful self-employment right so with this free time that you open up with you retracting your four pentacles from whatever situation that you you would know what the situation is leo you are because you i see you already having your mind being like like this has been up in the air where it's just like you haven't known how to handle the situation i feel like you've been juggling the situation for a while and so um yeah let's just get some cards with this though this nine of pentacles overall though i mean it's just like a really good card it shows to you with that queen of wands right you leave the nest as the queen of wands this nine of pentacles confirms to you that you leaving your nest actually is profitable right because you get that successful self-employment you get that affirmation of being like yeah spend some quiet time alone very much so solar energy i feel like you, a lot of you leos are just breaking out from an old situation and just like a lot enjoying your own company for a while and just like relying on yourself rather than having to think about what other people are thinking and feeling and doing and all that so let's get these clarifiers for the sign of earth king of pentacles the death card in the reverse the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Swords in the reverse. So, huh, this is a very interesting dynamic of cards, Leo, because it's like you're building up your stability, you're building up your empire as the King of Pentacles, and really just opening yourself. I feel like you're like you opening up and you becoming more bossed up in your own energy and being more comfortable with yourself leo through that quiet time alone because i do feel like that's a pivotal part for you that is really what jump starts um a lot of things opening up a lot of um you know even if there's like a certain person in your life right now leo that you kind of have a harsh view on or like a situation a harsh view on i do see once you're able to just separate yourself from the situation put some distance between you and whatever that situation is where it's just like you know what peace and love to you honey love and light um <laughs> like this just isn't for me anymore you're piecing out being in your own company and then that's where it's just like once you're able to just only answer to yourself and rely on yourself those who were initially bringing you stress or the situations that were bringing you a lot of stress bringing you down and all of that leo i see you being able to just like not necessarily like resent them anymore well yeah you, i don't see you resenting if there is a sense of resentment i don't see you um being checked out from a situation anymore where you're just like you know what now that i'm able to just put put some distance right uh with this situation i don't really mind them as much anymore right it just feels like a lot of you guys just needed to were just like long overdue of putting up some strong boundaries some heavy distancing and then once this is applied um you just feel a lot better just overall right because the nine of cups that we got for you as well talks about um self-fulfillment the three of swords in the reverse with this being upright is pain being in the downright is showing that you're healing from pain right as well as the death card being in the reverse this is why i was saying it's interesting because it's just like initially you're checked out from the situation where you're just like i don't want this i'm done like don't talk to me again block it and everything but then when you have that quiet time alone and just being able to be to yourself that's when you're just like all right you know what you know i can take this person in doses they're not as bad anymore and even if you're not talking to them anymore 
it just like it feels like this way of just like the resentment or like the anger that you might feel towards a situation just st starts getting lifted i'm not saying you're forgiving them or anything like that or in that you're speaking to them if it is about a person leo but what i am saying is uh, don't see it negatively impacting you as hard as it was um as it used to i guess so yeah really good cards for you leo uh now i'm going to be getting into my leo's uh, weekly love and uh, social situations, as well as my Leo's horoscope for their career and finances. So if you're interested in that, stay along. We're going to start with my Leo's social and love situation, though. Let's see what's going on there this week for y'all. We have the Five of Fire, the Ace of Fire, and the Strength card. So this is your card, Leo. Hmm. So in terms of this... I do, the five of fire brings me, it makes me raise a brow because it's like conflict. Strength card though, lets me know, you know what, this is kind of like a similar message where it's like you're working, like whatever, there's a situation in your life right now, a relationship in your life right now, platonic, what have you, romantic, family, whatever. That's feel pretty rough right now. I would argue even saying, Leo, that you don't really, really care for this person right now. You're just like identify them as like a stressor. But I do see at some point, like, through, like, whatever opportunity comes forward to you, like, because that's the thing. I feel like once you just start feeling fulfilled in the actions and the things that you're just doing with yourself, you just become so happy with the things that you personally are doing, Leo, that it's just, like, you just become just overall happier and just being, like, I don't know. It's just very interesting. Think, things, the people that you were initially just mad at or really just what have you, you just start having a change of heart after like those proper boundaries were placed that we talked about. Um, and after like you get to just like, it just feels like for some of you Leos, you just need to have a sense of your own identity doing your own thing. So I like that. I like that a lot for you, Leo. Now let's get into and see what is going on for y'all's Leo financial and career situation. Hmm, good cards too. So we have the Page of Fire, the Chariot card, as well as the Release card. Definitely my Leos are leaning into a fresh start because Page of Wands or Page of Fire, I always say is my fresh start card. The Release card, <laughs> quite literally a fresh start. And the chariot card is like newfound motivation. So if we were to actually, funnily enough, in your reading, Leo, all your, like your cards kept on giving like the same underlying uh, impressions or messages of where it's just like new opportunity, um, you moving, like that's a thing, like it's similar to Aries, but in a different way, like you, Leo, are just so, y'all's reading is just very unique for me where it's just like, a situation that is just like both social and and just in work as well um there's just like this very strong desire of just like changing your name and just changing everything about like throwing away your old life just to find who you are and then from there you start picking apart from other things again that was from your old life but it just feels like for a lot of you leos you want to go into just new territory that's untouched by anyone that's in your current life and anything um just to get your own uh sense of feeling for it. It's very, very interesting, Leo. I'm very interested in hearing what happens in, in y'all's week and what's going on, y'all. So uh, yeah, Leo, that's the reading that I have for you for this weekly horoscope. I hope this resonated. If you did enjoy this reading, be sure to let me know which tarot cards resonated. Give this video a like and subscribe, Leo. And then also, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, your weekly horoscope. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, Leo, uh, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. Until next time, Leo, I love you so much.